Federal Ministry of Education says that it is working around the clock to reduce the number of out-of-school children in the country. This was as the Minister of Education met with education stakeholders in Abuja to give an update on success achieved in the sector. Ebwa Uye, report. The event was to engage with citizens and stakeholders in Abuja. The Minister of State for Education says that the ministry is working with stakeholders to implement the nation's educational sector roadmap from 2024 to 2027. The ministry, in collaboration with the relevant stakeholders, developed a four-year strategic plan captioned Education for the New Hope, Nigeria Education Center Sector Roadmap 2024 to 2027. The roadmap contains eight focus areas and 13 pillars geared toward implementing the 23 ministerial deliverables. Furthermore, the roadmap was further broken into annual work plans with timelines for easy monitoring and evaluation. I wish at this junction to inform this gathering that the utmost focus of the ministry is the area of ensuring credible, timely, and valuable education data at all levels, so as to enhance educational planning. Other aspect is also reducing the number of out-of-school children in Nigeria and promoting skill development and acquisition at all levels. The Minister for Education says that the ministry will partner with stakeholders to ensure that out-of-school children are returned back to school. One of the major programs of the present administration to address problems of out of school. And uh, while the commission set up is still uh, trying to set it down fully, the work has not stopped. The project on out of school is still ongoing. There are agencies of the ministry that are doing their own part to ensure that the problem is also addressed. So what we reported is the progress from the other uh, agencies of the Ministry of Health and School. The Minister of State for Education also revealed that plans are on the way to improve available infrastructure and skill acquisition for learning. We also uh, developed a national skill framework that has been launched and is operational. And also we have moved forward to see that in terms of our constructions, which is also a major thematic area of our school, we have paid much emphasis of recent to the innovation to the construction of our vocational schools. So far, we have over 21 uh, schools that have been uh, completed, fully furnished, and that will be handed over to the state. The essence is to see that we can have the education we want. And the education we want right now is not an education that we search based on paper qualification, that somebody cannot add value to himself or to the general public. It's an education that will provide you with knowledge, character, and skill that you can be able to be uh, employed and also in the near future to be an employer of labor. The Honorable Commissioner also urged the Ministry of Education to reduce the high cost of work fee for students to enable them enroll for the exams. Increase in work. How do we address that? Based on the economic reality of the day. Because most parents cannot afford to buy or pay for the work of their students, of their children. Probably the federal government should come up with a policy on now to push in the effect. Probably subside some of the fees so that parents can be able to at least afford paying for the fees. Ebuwa Uyi reporting for Development Nigeria TV.